This is a reproductive decision support system that enables you to quantify the economic value of a reproductive program for dairy cattle. The results are generated using a sophisticated computer-based model which simulates changes in herd structure, milk production, and production costs according to a defined reproductive program and other user-defined inputs. As we look at the top of the page, there are nine tabs from which this tool operates. The tabs should be navigated from left to right, and as you can see, the first tab provides a brief overview of key functions, equations, and the underlying simulation model. You have the ability to manage your own data in the Upload tab. Here you have the option of downloading all default inputs in a single Microsoft Excel file, where they can easily be changed as needed. Once the changes are made, the same file may be uploaded by clicking the Upload button. An indicator is located below to remind you which data set is currently in use. The Repro tab contains inputs to describe the reproductive performance of your herd or the reproductive program you'd like to analyze. The table includes inputs for cows up to 16 months in milk and lactations 1 through 9. Under each lactation, you'll find inputs for the percentage of cows confirmed pregnant and the costs incurred by the reproductive program in each month. As an example, let's say 15% of all eligible second lactation cows are confirmed pregnant in month 6 at a cost of $37 per cow per month. The two boxes below this table can be used to designate non-pregnant cows as do not breed, or they may be culled according to thresholds regarding production and months in milk. In this case, if a cow is in her 14th month in milk, and is producing over 50 pounds of milk per day, she'll be classified as a do not breed cow but will remain in the herd because she's producing more than 50 pounds of milk per day. Eventually, when the cow's milk production goes below 50 pounds per day, she'll be culled for reproductive purposes. Next, the abort tab tracks the likelihood of an abortion for cows in lactations 1 through 9. Each column represents a month in pregnancy, and each row denotes the lactation number. Any cell on the table may be changed by simply selecting it and entering the appropriate percentage. The table in the Cull tab allows you to define the culling rate for cows in lactations 1 through 9 and month in milk 1 through 25. Below the table, you can define the culling rate for pregnant cows and the overall mortality rate in your herd as a proportion of the percentages listed in the table. Here, one pregnant cow will be culled for every eight open cows culled, and one out of every 20 cull cows will die. The inputs shown in the milk tab will help you define milk production parameters for your herd. A portion of MilkBot technology has been integrated to produce accurate lactation curves for cows in each lactation. In case you're unfamiliar with MilkBot and the terminology used here, you may want to check out the link provided. Additional inputs in this tab quantify the natural decrease in milk production of pregnant cows as they move closer to dry off. Several general economic figures are needed to complete our analysis, and we can supply the necessary input information in the Economics tab. I'll make some adjustments to the milk price and the average value of newborn calves. Then we can head to the next tab. The final step is to enter the herd size and then click the Run Model button. After a few seconds, we'll be taken to the Results tab. This is where all of our input information comes together. We can see that after 836 iterations of the simulation model, 
our herd structure does, in fact, reach a steady state. A series of economic figures are shown in the table to help us quantify the true value of a reproductive program. Income over feed costs and calves constitute sources of revenue, while culling and reproduction represent cost to our operation. The end result is a net return, which is shown on a monthly and daily basis for the whole herd, and on a per cow basis for the entire year. The economic value of the defined reproductive program is defined to be almost $1,500 per cow per year. If you want to perform your own sensitivity analysis, you can change selected reproductive parameters and then make comparisons against this number. For instance, you may want to explore the impact of increasing the pregnancy rate. This is easily done by going back to the Repro tab, changing the appropriate input cells in the table, then running the model again. The increased dollars per cow per year would represent the potential gain as a result of a higher pregnancy rate. The chart below offers more supporting information. The orange cells show the number of cows in each stage of lactation. For example, two first lactation cows are still open at five months in milk. The cull cows column indicates how many cows are culled in each month of the lactation. And as you might expect, there are a higher number of cows leaving the herd at the beginning and the end of the lactation. The columns under the revenues and costs heading provide a monthly breakdown of the information we saw in the table above. Notice how the zero values describe our reproductive threshold to stop service and the natural calving interval. The same information is shown below for lactations 2 through 9. To access this tool, please visit the UW Dairy Management website.